In this video, we see the second numerical problem based on the concept of identity element. In the previous video, we have already seen one question for the same. Let's get started by seeing the second numerical problem on the concept of identity element. Let's read the question together and let's get started by solving it. A binary operation star. So what is the binary operation given to me? It is given to me as star is defined on the set x is equal to r minus of minus 1. That means the set is of real numbers but the only restriction is that minus 1 cannot be included in that set of real numbers. What is the binary operation? It is given as x star y is equal to x plus y plus x y. That means the sum plus the product. x plus y would be the sum and x y would be the product. That is also given to me that x and y belong to the given set x. That means they are real but not minus 1. You have to find what is the identity element. For those who don't know what is the identity element, I request you to please watch the previous videos on identity element with the numerical problem number 1. And for those who know, let's get started with solving what is the identity element for this question. Now by the definition of identity element, we know that a star e is equal to e star a is equal to a. If this is the case, I have e as my identity element. Now, what is x star y equal to? It is nothing but as x plus y plus x y. We have nothing but applied the binary operation on first and third. You can also apply on second and third. And is equal to a remains as it is. How has this come? Let me repeat this again. I know that x star y is equal to x plus y plus x y. So a star e is equal to a plus e that means sum plus product. Now a and a do get cancelled. So I am left with what e plus a e is equal to 0. Now one more thing e becomes common. You are left in the bracket with 1 plus a is equal to 0. Now you have to find the value of what? You have to simply find the value of e. So what is e? From these brackets I know that if the product of any two things is 0, either both are 0 or one of them is 0. So I just write e is equal to 0. And what about 1 plus a? 1 plus a is equal to 0. That means a is equal to minus 1. That is a different story. We do not have to consider whether that is valid or not. For us, we were supposed to find e and this e is the identity element for the given question. Now, some of you might have this thing in mind that is always the identity element equal to 0. Because in the previous numerical problem that we could took, the answer was 0. Here also the answer is 0. So my dear friends, let me remind you that always the identity element is not 0. For example, I have A and I am asked to find the identity element when we take the case of multiplication for A. So when we multiply and A belongs to say natural numbers, so what would be the answer? The answer would be A multiplied by what gives me A? A multiplied by 1 gives me A. So here the identity element was 1. So different questions can get me different values of identity element. In this example, which is next example, I mean this was just to make you understand, the identity element is 1. But here the answer to my question is identity element equal to 0. So in the next video, we will be talking about the concept of inverse of an element. We have been completing identity element by far.